All right, here's one of those problems that has an x in the denominator. So we will see this probably on the test. So the first thing I'm going to do here is the same thing we were, were doing in those other problems is I want a common denominator which will allow me to get rid of all of them. And that right now is a 4 over 1. So right now we've got this x and none of these other denominators have an x. So let's multiply them by an x. Like this. But the x also is missing this 8. Same with this 1x right here. So I'll have to multiply the x by 8. And I'll multiply this 1 and x by 8 as well. And I'll do it in the numerators also. So right here, this 8 times 5 is uh, 40 over 8x plus 7x over 8x. And this would equal 8 times 4 is 32. So we got 32x's over 8x's. So you guys see how we have those common denominators? So since I have common denominators, once again, I can just ignore all the denominators. So I got 40 plus 7x equals 32x. Now I've got x's on both sides and that's okay. What I need to do is move them so they're all on the same side. Right now I'm going to put the x's on the right and the numbers on the left. So I'm going to subtract this 7x so that I only have numbers on the left side. So this gives me 40 and 32x minus 7x's yeah, 25 x's. All right, at this point, I would divide both sides by 25. Again, that's just so I have an x, because 25 divided by 25 is 1. And I've got 40 divided by 25. Both these are divisible by 5. So I'm going to simplify them by dividing both by 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. And 25 divided by 5 is 5. And this right here would be our answer. Yeah, that's a great question. So whether we wrote it like this or like we have in the box there, it's the same thing. Yeah. Um, these are telling us both that x is 8 fifths. Well, let's go ahead and check this thing. So I got 5 divided by that 8 fifths. Now, this is a complex fraction. So we're going to have to do some work with that. Then we should add the 7 eighths, and that should equal 4. So what we have right here is 5 divided by 8 fifths. But uh, we're going to reciprocate that fraction and make it 5 eighths and then multiply. So that would be 25 eighths. And of course, we were always adding that 7 eighths, and it should equal 4. Because that's, well, that's just what we're checking. So 25 plus 7, that would give us 32 over 8. Does that equal 4? Yes, that's a true statement. So we know now that our answer is correct.